Uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen, Rabbit Chess here with a video of the day. Um, I decided to make a rook and game video, uh, very important uh, part of chess and uh, according to let's say Grandmaster Roblevsky once said that uh, people just think that uh, this is very easy uh, comparing to starting position that uh, pe people who don't know chess uh, it, they just think that it's ridiculous but uh, yeah. Actually, it's one of the most difficult things in chess. Also, uh, uh, world champion Peter Leko um, also praised this rook and games, and uh, he was telling a story how um, when he was a small boy prodigy, uh, chess prodigy, so uh, he said that it's important to study to learn uh, this rook and games uh, in the when you're a small kid because it's only uh, age when you actually can learn something like uh, force yourself to study when you're like grown up then it's much more difficult so um, so what we have here we have a very typical two pawns against one pawn on one um, flank and uh, it's very draw heavy, but this particular position is winning for white. So uh, just let's imagine that we did everything with white, like gave all the checks and uh, just tried everything and we uh, <coughs> came to this position. So we have to decide whether we play f6 or g6. So uh, let's play f6. So f6, as you see, is a actually a mistake, a draw, because except for g6, which is losing to king h6, um, black can play takes, yeah, and after g6, king g7, and black arrive at this drawing position, yeah, which is um, very easy draw when king goes back, and rook will protect the 8th rank, so it's a uh, it's a drawn position. All right, so uh, in this game, uh, white played g6, which is the only winning move. Uh, white is pawn up, and he has a lot, uh, like some ideas here. He can capture this pawn on g7. He can um, uh, break through with the king, and uh, move this pawn forward. So uh, in this position, uh, black plays uh, king to f6, like uh, getting this counterattack. If we play rook to g7, it's a draw because uh, this rook becomes really active, king to e5, and actually if white takes this g7, then black wins. After king f4, this king here is trapped because of the rook. So you have to take notice of that. So um, after uh, king to f6, the only winning move is rook to f8, check. King moves to e5, again threatening rook to a5 and giving perpetual or uh, taking a pawn. So in this position, the only winning move is f6. Uh, so let's try, let's say rook to a1, uh, but then uh, just white will take and there is no mate, king will run away and white wins. So black uh, naturally will take on f6. So what would you play here? The only winning move here for white is rook f7. Very nice move. If black takes, then pawn takes back and uh, white queens. And if king goes to e6, then rook g7. Yeah, finally, uh, white has taken this g7 pawn. And after this, just um, everything wins according to agent. But Rook a7 is the easiest, yeah. After king to f6, uh, black loses a rook. And there is no way to stop this pawn, yeah. It's rook g7, 
then uh, king to h6 check the problem is that uh, king uh, cannot approach i'm sorry uh, king h7 check king g7 g7 yeah and uh, white wins with this check all right uh thank you very much and uh, see you next time